Hi guys, this is Rich with Wild Wonderful Weekends, and I wanted to make a video today to talk about how to shoot slow motion video with your Pocket 2 camera, but when you play that video back to have parts of it play at normal speed and parts of it play in slow motion. And the reason I wanted to do this is because last year when I first bought this camera, I posted a video of me shooting some slow motion video of my dog running and me skipping a rock, things like that. And when I played that video back, parts of it was in normal time and parts of it were slow motion, and a few viewers actually asked me how I did that. And it's actually super easy to do. Uh, you don't have to be a pro to do it at all. You can just be a hobbyist and it doesn't take expensive uh, software. Pretty much any video editing uh, suite is gonna take care of that for you if, if you know how to use it. And um, what we'll do today is we'll look at it in iMovie, which comes free on, on most Macs. Uh, I had a model shoot last weekend and during that shoot, I shot some video of her kind of moving her hair around and stuff and I shot it in slow motion. And there was also kind of a cool part that happened that I wasn't even aware of until I was looking at the video later because these screens were so small, I didn't know, but a, a butterfly had actually flown into the, into the frame, and it looked really cool in slow motion, too. So, but we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at that. I'll show you how to slice that video up, how to choose parts to play at normal uh, speed and, and parts to play in slow motion. Okay, so I have my clip already loaded into iMovie here, and even though this clip isn't perfect because the model's a little out of focus and I hit the background instead of the model when I was focusing on this, It'll work fine for this demo. And this should work in any video editing software. It definitely doesn't have to be iMovie. It's just that iMovie is so cheap and accessible, I thought I would uh, demo it in this. But any video editing software is going to probably let you slice clips and adjust the timing of those clips independently. So if I hit play on this clip right now, you'll see that everything was shot at eight times slow motion, which is the equivalent of 240 frames per second assuming a 30 frame per second normal, which is what we're doing when we use the DJI Pocket 2 camera. And you can see that the hair flips look nice and slow and smooth and the water looks nice and slow and smooth. But let's assume that I didn't want to play this entire clip at this slow motion speed. I wanted parts of it to be at normal speed. Well, I can do that by deciding where I want those breaks to be. So let's say that I wanted to play the very first bit of this clip at normal speed, right up until the point where she starts to flip her hair back like that. I can move my scrubber to the part where I want to slice this clip and then in iMovie I can right click the clip and then say split clip. Now I've got a clip I can edit independently at the front and a second one here at the end. So this first one I'm going to select it to highlight it and I'm going to go to the timing and speed controls here and in iMovie it's really easy because I can actually just select fast and it's going to give me if I want to speed it up by two times, four times, eight times or twenty. And since this was originally shot at eight times slow motion, I want to speed it up eight times now to bring it back to normal speed. Now if I drag my scrubber back to the beginning and hit play, you'll see that that works. And then as soon as it jumps to the clip where she was originally shot at 240 frames per second, everything slows down again. Now if I wanted to make more than one slice where the tempo changes, I can do that also. So let's say right where it is there, I'm going to right click the clip again and split it again and so now I want this piece to be slow motion where she flips her hair back and then I want it to go back to normal speed again all the way up to this really cool little part here where a butterfly just kind of entered the frame and hovered over here I'll show you what that looks like so here comes this butterfly and it just kind of hangs out in the frame for a second there so right up to where that happens I'll play it at normal speed Let's find that. So about right there. I can slice my clip again. And this part I will play at normal speed. But remember, this clip was shot at 240 frames per second. So right now what the computer is calling normal is actually the 240 frames per second. So I need to speed it up to get it to real normal speed. I'll speed it up eight times. And then... We will let this play at slow motion. And then right after that, we can slice it again. Right click, split clip. And we can have the ending play at uh, normal speed. So I'm going to speed it up eight times. Again, because the video was shot at eight times slow motion. So now, it may look a little glitchy in the preview window. If we compiled this and exported it to one single movie clip, everything would be nice and smooth. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, show you what it looks like here in the editor. Here we have the first slow motion clip.
And we're going to speed up again to normal speed. One more slow motion clip. And then back to 30 frames per second normal speed. So that's it, guys. Hopefully that uh, is easy enough. And uh, like I said, this works, of course, with DaVinci Resolve, which uh, I use primarily. It works with iMovie when I need to do something really quick. Uh, it even works with the really old, no longer even available, I don't think, uh, Windows Media or Movie Maker. Uh, but uh, good luck with that. If you make some of your own edits along those lines, let me know. I'd like to check them out. I'm going to go ahead and compile this and export it into one single clip and put it at the end of this video so you can check it out. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you like these videos, please remember to like and subscribe.